Hey everybody, um, welcome back to Daytona. This time we're gonna do GG3 race. The GG3 challenge, which is the fisted race. And there's a good reason why, but I'll get to it after real time. I have a big announcement coming up. And you'll 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 see why I'm doing this. You can probably you already got a pretty good guess on what I'm about to do based on this content. Alright, we are gonna crow fight in the porch. My fiance had corrected you how to say the word porch. It's not Porsche up here. Oh gee. It's not Porsche apparently, it's porch. I think that's how you say it now, but feel free to correct me if I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, this is the same porch GG3 core that I won in Annapolis with for my first ever rare win. You can see it like two months ago. And since that first win um, at Annapolis, I originally we, we did the GG3 way they drive, the fists, all that stuff, the new Gamma's model, completely we did how the GG3 cars drive, it feels heavier, it feels um, more stable at the same time, but it feels heavier, it's also um, a lot more stable in the corners, if that makes sense, AM porch seem to be the most stable of the cars so far, and there's a good reason for that. That I will tell you about in a minute. There's a good reason why I'm driving this car in a better. Um, I'm just ignoring which car, which make is the fastest this week. What matters is I'm fascinated with this car. Oh god. But yeah, um, this car is heavier, it's harder to turn. But at the same time, it's more stable. And you just have to be gentle with it, I guess. I'm trying to profile here for the fist that raised the GG3 challenge. Yeah, I'm hoping to profile in 147, 148. I'm not gonna be the cricket. But we should learn in the core. We should learn in the core. Getting some laps in. And you'll see why in a few minutes. Not the best access there for the straight, but. I'm still learning. Seems that a lot of people are around 1 minutes 47 seconds here. I think that'll be around 1 minutes 48 seconds here to store it. We're still learning. We're still learning the core, the combo. It's also fisted, so there's more gas in it, I guess, than what you would usually put for crow fine. Try to live for a crash and weary. That's a great thing about the new update. Uh, yeah, you can cast the slides easier when you're just spin, spinning the wheels. Oh god. Seven. 
so far that he said I can't play out. I get a good rim on the corner. Alright, that's the best we're gonna get here. Alright, I'm pretty happy with this. Lap. Got to be right on point with the shifting. Not really, but alright, cool. That was a pretty good lap. Fourth place, P4. I'll take it. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Whew. Yeah, here's my core from Annapolis. Still the same paint. Why change the same thing when you already had a good run in this court, you know? Alright, well. Why don't we have a few minutes? So the big announcement that I have for y'all is that I am joined up with um this team, um, Death Sim Racing. It's poor, but there are 24 hours at Daytona racing team. So that's right, I'm gonna do my first 24 hours race at Daytona. And I'm very excited about this, you know. It's a all deaf racing team with, a lot, with many incredible deaf members. I've been, you know, part of this team for about two years now, a year or two now. But this is my first real chance of. Uh, racing with these guys, so I'm very excited about this, and we have decided to race the porch for the Daytona 24, either um, the porch or variety, so we're trying to figure out which course the best, but this is one, this is one of the two options that we're gonna go with for, for the 24 hour race, and that's why it's important, that's why it's important for me to get him all this practice. So we can be ready for the real deal here. Um, give me a second, I'm sorry. Like I said, this is a fist to stay up. So the timing was never gonna be impressive. I want to change that to blue. That's what I'm trying to do. Change that changing the colors to the blue. But yeah, um, that's the big announcement that I have. I'll be racing with the Death Sim Racing Team for the Daytona 24. There will be four of us. Actually, there's two cores. And there's a team of eight people. So that'll make it four cores for two. Four times two. And... One left to green. Line up on the left side. With of the eight members the there during the race, two of us now. are American. Six of them are European. And you can see where that's where this is going to go. So this is this Death Sim Racing team is mainly European, like Finland, Norway, Sweden, and I think there's a couple English members. And so they have been trying to get more American drivers, more American jet drivers, and they found two of them. One of them is me. I mean, another guy is known as a fisted NASCAR former. Aaron, you might have heard of him. He raised a fisted, rarely. He's like 700, he's like 700, I'm sorry, 7,000 I rating guy on NASCAR side. But he's trying to learn the GG3 for the first time. So you got true American overdrivers and true different cores. There'll be one American each core. And the reason for that is the time zone, because, well, American, like me, I'm the best guy to drive at, while Europe is at night time. You know, if, like, into night hours and early morning in Europe, that's when I'm gonna be stepping in. And I believe because there's four people per, per core, I'm gonna be six hours of racing. So I'm gonna have to learn how to drive this car very well by the time Daytona, Daytona 24 comes around. I'm gonna do all the practice I can get. This is like my first real team racing I've ever done on my racing, and I'm very excited for that. 
you know, and they decided. So we'll, we'll see if all this practice gonna pay off. I believe day 2024 is an open setup event. So it might feel different comparing to Fister. But what's important is I'm turn I'm turning in the laps, I'm learning the core, getting all the laps in, get as many as much of a practice possible. So that's what we're gonna do here. And the fact that we crow fight it, oh god, they jumped it early. The fact I crow fight it, fifth is a good sign. Well, I was not ready for that jump. Let's take it easy. We got the limbo. Following. This is snap ram pretty good there. I have to be careful. I have to treat this like 24 hours race. Also, another thing about the new GG3 build tire management's gonna be a lot more important. The tires are more sensitive with the new update. So that's gonna be a theme for the 24 hours race. Alright, we're off to good start. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We're probably not gonna win, but the point of this race is to learn and get some laps in. Not the best lamp, but we're being steady. Just keep it steady here. We don't get overtaken. Oh, this, yeah, he's backing off. Good. Thank you, bro, for waiting to this poor before he asked me. He, he could have forced it at you, but he didn't force it. So thank you very much. But he's gonna cash me. So I'm gonna let him so gonna let him go. Let him take to the outside right here. Now this is gonna be tricky if we gonna have to very great. Good defense and clean. That was a clean defense. And the guy behind me had a terrible corner. Step only onto top five here.
try and get my shift in as soon as possible. Now I am on automatic. I am on automatic. Um, the limp. Or something, whatever you want to call it. So maybe that's helping. That's causing me to slow down when I'm shifting. I don't know. It was a hot shift. A pile of hot shift. Not the best corner. Now he's got a weary catch up to me. He's got he's got a stronger run. Then the last oh god. What the hell? Come on, bro. Check him go lower and block the line. I think I will trust him. I'm making him pass me on the outside. Thanks, guy. I ain't touched him, but thanks goodness. That's why you get for being so attractive. Shit. Oh, that was a mess. I'm pulling up a bunch of people here. Struggling with the pace. This is the stable core, but it's not the fastest. I don't think this is the fastest core. But we're sick of all weird. Smash on this. Let's go get another run at me. At least um, the force has been. Pretty respectful of me. He's been giving me a lot of respect, so I'm just not blocking him. But there's another. There's another get here. right into my back. Take your sir out. Wonderful. Nice job. Did you learn main theme? In the 24 hours race, I'll be letting you go. But this is a 15 minutes race. This is so 
slow. Fucking die bomb. Did learn something. I hope 24 hours ready is not this crazy. People are pushing like crazy on the S of that corner. And that's where I'm being a lot of these people. And that guy behind me waiting on the grass. Stay calm. Some crazy moves in this one. Bitch behind me is crazy. So slow. Not happy with the pace here. Everybody's hanging on my back. Learn to pick the battles. Learn to when to pass me and be straight. You don't need to run into my back. Yellow Ferrari behind me. This could be a problem.
going to stay ahead of this jackass. You probably have three more laps. Something like that. Five minutes left. Almost four. So probably two more laps. We'll see. Two and a half. He's not giving any respect, so I'm not going to give him any respect. I'm just going to take the inside here. doesn't have the green. Do not have the pace yet. I'm still learning. Still learning to get better with the pace. Uh, he's gonna try. He's gonna. I'm gonna have to go deep here. Oh, that's a bad corner. But I think he can hit a good corner either. But he's gonna catch up with the drafting. And we're gonna do an. The same defense, we're gonna hold the inside. And he let go of the drafting a little bit too early. And that's another good defense. I wouldn't do that in 24 hours, but... And somehow, this is not the last lap. I wish it was, but it's not. We can probably finish between P5 and P8 somewhere. So let's be smart. Let's be smart. He had better corner than we get. He's gonna make the rim game on the outside. See who's gonna rattle the cage from me here. Give me as much space as possible. And he's gonna bump me for no reason at all. It's a cannot pass me. and P4 wrecking, maybe P2, they're all right there, but I don't think we're going to catch them. Mm 
maybe they'll help me pull off this guy. And there's a rat behind me. So look like we're gonna pull on to P5 here. Awesome sit ass, but hey, we'll take it. I don't think we're done with the rats with P2 to P4. That's what that was about, you know, replay. Yeah, I yeah, I think they're I think they're clean now. Get P5 here, top five. I can be happy with this. Well, that's a good store too. Um, GG3. Getting ready for the 24 hours. What you hit me for? We got big problems with that engine. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna protest him. That's a project. Should we serve? I rage him. Such a waste of IRA chain. I ain't doing anything to him. What did I even do to this guy? What the hell was that about? We'll look at the replay. I don't remember him. So unnecessary. So unnecessary. All right, well, let's watch. Let's watch the replay. I want to find out why he was mad at me. But here was. Shut this off for a second. What he was the store of the Number 16 was a true get there. First guy got taken out already. Name, he's gonna smash some gas too quickly and spin. And there's the car trim core. Thinking. I just hit left. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna report him. Hope you had a nice vacation. And then this guy just. Bring him too deep. Not my drama. Not my drama. Go in too deep, you pay the price. Not my problem. Some stupid passes here. 
not sure what that was about, but okay. This is the beef right here. That's where the beef came from, apparently. What a loser. He's mad that he ran into me. Look at this group of losers. Number eight changed the slam into my bat and spun him so out. I'm doing things. You're the one that misjudged the corner and went them too, too deep. So here's the context, I guess, for why he was upset with me. Um, protest eyes at two. Cool. Seems like a lot of people making the same mistakes. The guy bomb, he was kind of crazy in this one. And this was after the race. Like, why? All he's gonna do is get her ass kick out of iRacing for a week. That's all it's gonna do. Right. And that's the winner. Well, that was unfortunate. Couple, um, couple of angry people in this one. But nothing I can do about that. It's frustrating to deal with people like that. To deal with Sherman like that. Right. It is what it is. Is where it was, I guess. It's not my fault, you guys are a bunch of deadheads not learning how to handle a corner and not not learning how to not take it too deep. Like, do you not understand why I was doing the way I was? If you go into the corner too deep, you're not gonna have a good speed off the asset. You're gonna be slow on my access, and it'll be very slow down the straight. You go into the corner too deep, and I was trying not to go too deep into the corner here. So yeah, it's real unfortunate the way people were racing. People angry that I was slow, but I was just doing my race. I was just doing my race, and these people were the ones to slam into my back. It's frustrating, but. Nothing I can do about it. All I can do is just file to protest some one of the guys. And just move on with my life. Just keep pressing for the 24 hours race. Alright, well. Hopefully you're enjoying that one in spite of a drum with a couple of these guys. Let me know what you'll think about the race. Um, leave a comment. Let, definitely let me know if I'm at fault or not. But leave a comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. All right, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. And keep an eye on my channel for more GG3 racing from Daytona. I'm going to try to get better, keep getting better. And get ready for a 24 hours race that's coming up in like a couple weeks.